Okay, hello. I'm making another mane and tail um, video because I don't know if I talked about this before. Um, mane and tail. Okay, so if you're watching reviews online, I would not um, like go off those people's word on it and actually try it yourself because like it's like 50% the hair growth works, 50% it doesn't, and I've like seen this by like just looking it up online and stuff. And also, I'm not totally sure, but it might depend on like which kind of mane and tail you use. I'm not totally sure. I'm just now trying the deep conditioning stuff because I had to cut my hair and stuff um, from damage and, um, you know, deep cleansing is good for your hair. So I'm currently using that. So I don't really know. And I also dyed my hair back to my natural color. So I don't even know if it's growing. Um, but the regular kind, I can say I've used it and it worked for me. It did grow my hair, uh, quick, quicker than it normally would. Um, I, for people that don't like dye their hair and stuff, um, then, yeah, obviously there's really not going to be much of a difference. I think it's more for people that dye their hair a lot and um, then it works. Like people, because I've noticed that people that make reviews and they have their natural hair color, um, their hair doesn't really grow much quicker. They say that it doesn't. And... It does if you dye your hair a lot and your hair, like, slowed down, like, growing-wise, like mine did. Um, it makes your hair basically grow, I want to say, like, a, like normal, maybe, or maybe even a little quicker than normal. I'm not really sure, because I don't really pay attention. I don't really do the facts. Also, I wanted to clarify that mane and tail only grows your hair from what me and my best friend have experimented. She has thick hair. I have thin hair. It did not work for her. She has thick hair. So my theory is, is that if you have very thin hair, it's more likely to work on you. So I, I don't know this for a fact. I wish I could tell you it's a fact, but like it didn't work for her, but it worked for me. And it also depends, like, it depends on your type of hair. I mean, it's kind of like with, that's just how, well, that's just how it is with some products. That's just how it is. If you have different hair, it's obviously not going to work um, as the same as somebody else who has different hair than you. Everybody's hair is different. And so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because... I've noticed that, like, with thin hair, it works. With thick hair, it doesn't. But me and her also dye our hair. I I am not dyeing my hair for a very long time, so who knows, it might change. Uh, this is actually my natural. I went back to my natural hair color. So it might change. Like, it might not do anything. I don't know, but my hair's still damaged. And I just dyed it not that, like a week ago. So I will have to get back to you on that. But um, yeah, it's probably because you have thick hair. So yeah, and also, um, like I said, with the bottles and everything, like I've, I tried the regular bat bottle. And it actually, uh, really, like, it's so good for my hair. It actually healed my hair, like, m on more than one occasion. And this wasn't even the one for damaged hair. This is the original, the original one that just says mane and tail. It's not just hair, shampoo, and conditioner. Um, that one, I noticed, grew my hair. But then again, like I said, I dyed my hair to my natural color, so I'm not well or close to it it's more so my roots that are more my natural color because I have other color that I colored over so it's a little bit darker in some spots but um uh, when my what was I gonna say 
sorry I'm blanking guys hold on give me a second uh so the original one grew my hair I don't know if this new one is I mean when my hair start when I start to see a difference in hair length then yeah I might be able to tell you but um it might also depend on which one you're using there's the original one and then there's the one for damaged hair there's one for something else and apparently there's another one for something else I think maybe I don't know but that's that's what I'm saying like so don't take what other people say and then not try it because it really is a good brand I've been using it for almost a, a year no almost two years now and I really, really like this brand. It's helped my hair grow. It's helped my hair become healthier. It's bounced my hair back from being really damaged. I'm kind of waiting for that to happen again. Um, but yeah, it. I definitely would recommend it to anybody. It doesn't have sulfates in it. It's all like just really, really good for your hair. So honestly, I mean, even if you're not even looking to grow your hair, it's a very good option. Um, I've been using the deep cleanse and holy hell, it is very nice. Very, very nice. It feels very silky and soft to the touch, the shampoo and the conditioner. So yeah, um, just wanted to clarify that. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I might be able to answer it. Um, because I've been using it for so long, but, uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there and tell you guys that you just gotta try it. Don't even bother watching reviews on it. Just, you have to try it for yourself, and if you're looking for the hair growth one, I'd honestly recommend getting the original one and not the others. I mean, you can experiment if you want, but I'm just saying I would recommend getting the original one because that's what I actually started out using.